Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The rising Croatian heavyweight Filip Hergovic will round out his 2019 with a fight against Eric Molina in Saudi Arabia on the Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua undercard on December 7th. That will be the third heavyweight fight on the card, with the other one being Alexander Povetkin versus Michael Hunter. But in terms of the competitiveness of all three, this is certainly the least competitive with Filip Hergovic going in a hot favourite to beat Eric Molina and most likely in style. At this point in his career, Eric Molina, who's 37 years old, he's a former two-time title challenger. He's got a record of 27-5, and five, but he's well past prime, relatively inactive in the past sort of 18 months or so. Since a loss to Dominic Brazil, he's had one fight against Nick Guivas. He's also been in trouble with uh, UCAD having a drug ban of uh, just over over two years but that didn't prevent him fighting elsewhere outside of the United Kingdom but in terms of a competitive matchup yeah this one is not it at this point it's a good resume builder for Filip Hergovic to get a guy like Molina who's had those two title shots on his resume after 10 fights you know being 10 and 0 fighting a number of guys in the heavyweight division that have previously done things like for example he fought Amir Mansour he's fought Kevin Johnson and now he'll be fighting Eric Molina so those guys uh, at one point in time were decent heavyweights but uh, at the time Hergovic fought them well on the slide and I expect this one and this is my official prediction to end inside three rounds I just think Philip Hergovic will be too big too strong and once Eric Molina does taste the right hand from Filip Hergovic, he will either go down or he will retreat into a shell. And I do think this one is going to end early and probably by a spectacular knockout. At this point, I don't think Eric Molina has the tools to really compete with an up-and-comer like Hergovic, who is a very seasoned amateur and very good skills. And on his come up in the pro ranks, he's been uh, doing all the right things. And his power looks to be pretty decent at the top level. And in terms of what the fighters are saying, Philip Hergovic says, I'm honoured to be part of this event, talking about the rematch with uh, Ruiz and Joshua. It's a big step up for me in terms of the level of opponent and also the size of the event. So I would take issue with that. Certainly on the size of the, the event, it's a big card for him, a good experience. But in terms of the level of opponent, yeah, I'm not so sure it really is a big step up at this point in Molina's career. He's pretty shot, uh, I believe. So he says the whole world will be watching and this is a big opportunity for me to showcase my skills. I would like to thank my, thank my team, Team Sauerland, uh, Eddie Hearn, for making this possible. I'm expecting a hard fight. Eric Molina has fought two times for the world title. He rocked Deontay Wilder in their, th in their fight and almost knocked him down. He's a very dangerous fighter with a lot of experience. This will be a big step up in competition and I'm expecting the hardest fight of my career. So in terms of that, I mean, Molina has been trading on rocking Deontay Wilder all the way back in 2015, pretty much for the re remainder of his career to date. And certainly that would have helped him get that late notice fight against Anthony Joshua at the end of 2016. But Molina at this point, yeah, I'm not expecting much. He did knock out a couple of years ago a faded Thomas Adamek, who's gone on to really do nothing in the heavyweight division. And Molina really has been on the downhill since that loss to Deontay Wilder has hasn't really done too much of note within the division bar that Adam Mack upset. He was expected to lose that one and with a Hail Mary towards the end of that fight managed to get the stoppage. But in this one, yeah, I'm not so sure it's going to be competitive and I don't believe it's going to be the toughest fight of Hergovic's career. I think some of these other fights like Kevin Johnson, for example, Johnson durable and was able to push Hergovic and take him the distance. Whereas with Molina, I do think this is going to end early and by a knockout. And in terms of Hergovic's training, he says, everything is perfect in training. I'm getting stronger and better with every camp. Pedro Diaz, which is his trainer, is a great coach. And I think we have a very good team with every camp. I see more and more of his knowledge and experience. I'm very happy to be here training with him. And I think he is bringing out the best of me. And Hergovic and Diaz, they do train down in Miami. And in terms of Molina, we'll just get to him before we wrap up. I'm beyond excited to be a part of this amazing boxing event in Saudi Arabia. I'm grateful to finally be back in the ring, and I know exactly what this fight means. Eddie Hearn has given me more than enough time to be physically, mentally, and spiritually ready for Hergovic. 
And I don't really think at this point in Molina's career, any amount of preparation time is going to be something that will um, uh, swing a win his way. And at this point, some of you might be thinking I'm just completely dismissing Molina out of hand. But if you had watched that fight with Dominic Brazil, which was not a great fight in 2017, didn't look like there was a lot left in the tank then. So I don't expect he's got any better two years on. If anything, he would have uh, gone further downhill. So I believe this will be a comfortable win to Filip Hergovic. How about you? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.